for because if we stop the next chapter, then we have to do Sansa new. Exactly. <laughs> but if we keep that going forever and ever, we never have to do Sansa. Ned dies. This is the episode that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some uh, people started uh, podcasting it not knowing what it was. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll continue doing it forever just because this is the chapter that never ends. <laughs> exactly. You're going to do that as a cold open, aren't you? Uh, the lamb chop introduction? Absolutely. Yes. I love lamb chop. Warning, the following show will spoil the hell out of George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire books and the TV show A Game of Thrones. Also, you're probably going to find a fuck ton of bad language. The explicit tag is there for a reason. Death and boobies, 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 death and boobies. Hello and welcome back to the Ironwood Network Book Club. I'm your host, Lady Wyvern, and with me today is Widow Wolfsbane and Mr. Ironwood. How are you guys doing today? Fan fucking tastic. I'm doing pretty damn good. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> Got ourselves an Eddard chapter. An yeah. Eddard. Yeah. An Eddard. An Eddard, if, it, if you will. I love Eddard. Eddard chap- Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think that's our new goal, to see how many t- like syllables we can add to his name. <laughs> <laughs> I love the- I love the Eddard chapters, but every time we get one more, we're one step closer to him dying. I also, know. There's almost always a Sansa chapter right around it, too. There is. Well, well, yeah, space, there is this to keep as well. the story going. Well, I say, and she's actually brought up in this chapter, too, which, uh, I, I mean, if you hadn't died. read the books before, it's kind of like, you knew it's She's coming. a child. She's an ignorant child. There's yeah, ignorant children all over the country. She should die. Why? A whole bunch of people died in this chapter, including children, and this she is wasn't not, one of them. <laughs> this is not a song of protecting children. We're not protecting her. <laughs> whole bunch of kids died in this chapter. Why couldn't she be fucking one of them? Because she's not a dirt people. Oh, she That's should true. be. She should be people. a dirt people. Well, well, I mean, if they find out about... She was born a Tully, so... She's a dirt Ew. people in spirit. I thought Tully's were dirt people. <laughs> no, they have a house, and they have words, so they have a, no, they have they're a not castle. dirt people. Uh-huh. That's unfortunate. They have a big castle. They have a dirt castle. All right, so... <laughs> Widow! It's in mud because it's in the middle of a river. Oh, that's true. Widow, that's true. what happens in this chapter? So. Oh, oh. oh no, 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 no. Go ahead. I can oh, handle it. Oh, boy. I can We're handle it. We're be here a while tonight. All right. Make it you. as vague as possible. <laughs> <laughs> as vague as possible. Uh, the Ned is sitting in a chair and talks to some people. No, no, done. you stop. I want her, <laughs> to, so I want her to go. <laughs> I have the goal of getting at least one fuck your face in there. And I do know, well, ex- I know exactly where I'm going to place it, though. <laughs> I know exactly where it's going to be placed, though. So, so I, why don't you just go instead of Hold talking me, about where you're going to put it? this before we get into this nonsense. Why? So you can hang your head down in shame? Yes. <laughs> yes. And so he can still be brought up clearly when he does it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Much. So we start this chapter. Ned is sitting on the Iron Throne now that uh, his best friend is out hunting a deer. They're doing the, the thing where the king hears all of the little people's problems and he finds his king's justice bit and makes it all go away for them and fixes everything. And then a bunch of people come in. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's it going to be? <laughs> I'm watching him over there. Trying not to cringe. <laughs> it's it's totally not me. It's totally not me. Did she have long bottom leaf before? No, her? she didn't. That's the funny part. <laughs> she is 100% sober for this. Damn! <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. That might be the problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. You okay? Uh... Yeah, I'll be good. Okay. Um, so a bunch of people come in with some knights and everything, and there's a lot of people covered in blood, and it's a horrible situation, it looks like. And it turns out that their villages were pillaged and plundered and all sorts of horrible things, and the fields were razed, and bad stuff happened. It was unfortunate. Oh, really? Bad stuff happened, huh? Bad stuff happened. I told her to keep it vague, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then, so, they, they start blaming Gregor Clegane, the mountain, and then 
Uh, they're like, we want justice, or they actually they they want vengeance. They're like, we want vengeance. Ned's sitting there. I know better. It's not going to happen. King's justice, you guys. The Knight of Flowers is like, I'm going to go do it. I'll take care of it. My liege, like, I got this. Well, not my liege, because he's not his liege lord or whatever. But Oh, well, yes, he is. Ned is everybody's liege lord. Oh. Oh, that's because he's the hand. hand. King. He's the hand king. All right, so he's like, my liege, I'll do it. Uh, it's me. Pick me. Pick me. And he's like, eh, Beric and Darien, I'm going to have you do this. Sorry, Prince of Flowers or whatever. No. Knight of Flowers, fuck your face, but you can't do this because you want vengeance. <laughs> See? <laughs> I knew exactly where it was going to go. He doesn't want vengeance. He just wants to do it to make a name for himself. I mean, he does, but Ned thinks he wants vengeance. No, he doesn't. He says you it in there. You guys can argue it. this later. Let her finish the synopsis before you hang yourself. Yeah. Hold on. And then, so, they send those guys out. Each one of, each one of the, like, five knights or whatever that he picks gets to pick another 20 people, and then everyone's going to go right out there and try to bring the mountain that rides to justice. And, uh, he, like, completely dishonors the mountain and everything. Well, the, dishon- the mountain dishonored himself. And then, like, strips him of his lands, his everything and whatnot, sends these people after him, and then is like, all right, fuck it, you guys, I'm leaving, my leg hurts, uh, I'm done seeing all your guys' little problems for the day, I'm going home, and then Pycelle has to pipe in and be like, you're a fucking idiot, and then he leaves with little finger. then some other shit happens, and he's talking to Varys for a little bit, and Varys is like, dude, you're an idiot, if you hate the Lannisters, you should be friends with the Tyrells, and and it's like, fuck it, I'm the Warren of the North, and the Hand of the King, I don't need no friends. (laughs) And that's more or less where we end up. (laughs) I'm not quite sure that's exactly how it went down, but we'll clarify it later. Okay, Okay, so if any of you read the chapter, and... And know that that's maybe, not maybe, what happened. Maybe you realize that that's not what happened during the chapter <laughs> at all, whatsoever. I mean, part of it is. I mean, yeah, sure, Ned was sitting on the throne. Okay. And a bunch of people came in covered in blood. Right. Especially that one Do chick. you want me to come in and recover the mess I made? <laughs> yeah, you made a mess. You let me have too much control. <laughs> I, mean, I, I guess we can work with it. Just uh, everybody, just ignore the synopsis. Uh, read the chapter for yourself. Or so you know what happens. I mean, they should have read the chapter so before you know what happens. Happens. So you know what actually happens. Or you'll want to just cut it out, and one of us come back and recover. <laughs> Listen, my synopsis is beautiful. <laughs> it was fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Give your, or take. Your synopsis was a high, it was like a high schooler writing their book report in a book they didn't read. <laughs> <laughs> Some more shit Shakespeare happened. Shakespeare wrote with amazing words and stuff about words and things that people do, and then they did some stuff and had some actions. Do you want That's me? That's what happened. Do you want people me? did some stuff. There was a lot of sitting in the chair, and then there was some standing, and then there was some people kneeling, and then he made those people stand up. <laughs> and then there was... It was like being at church. There was a lot of sitting, standing, and kneeling. <laughs> do you want me to give it a shot? Or do you want to just do it? <laughs> Listen, I think my synopsis is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to give a shortened version of okay. the synopsis. Ned is sitting on the Iron Throne because Robert's out hunting, and some people from the Riverlands and the Westerlands come in to <laughs> place their grievances about the fact that the Lannisters, namely Gregor Clegane, is out destroying villages and killing all the people in them, and they want to get revenge, but Lord Hoster Tully told them that they had to come and ask the king's permission first. And I forgot that part. <laughs> you forgot a lot of shit. <laughs> And Ned says, okay, well, that's fantastic. Um, we got to probably do something about Gregor Clegane, so uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to send out a party to bring the king's justice to him. Loras, the Knight of Flowers, is like, I'll do it. And Ned's like, look, you're young. Um, he just whipped your ass in the tourney when he decided to beat your ass after you beat him in the joust, so probably not going to be you. Littlefinger's like, smart move, because he's going to send us back your head if yeah. you go out after him. So Ned yeah. sends several... Knights, Beric Dondarrion, Beric Dondarrion, Thoris of Mir, and a couple others, along with twenty of each of their own men plus twenty of his men. Is this the start of the Brotherhood the, without the banners? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sweet. And charges Beric Dondarrion and those men with bringing the king's justice to Gregor Clegane, who Ned has stripped of all titles and ranks and incomes and lands. And then after everybody leaves, Varys has a conversation with Ned where he says, um, you probably should have made, let Loras do it because you need the Tyrells as a friend or else you're probably going to get killed by the Lannisters. And Ned's like, fuck it. 
And he's like, well, then maybe you should have let Ellen Payne do it because, you know, he is the king's justice. I remember the, I forgot about the Ellen Payne thing. Yeah, and that's like, he's a Lannister banner. And it's like, well, yeah, but I don't really trust him because he's a Lannister, so fuck that shit. I'll and just he just doesn't... To- you see, and he just doesn't I, like headsmen. But Ned's 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 well, but Ned's also very um, how do you say? He's a little crafty here. Where he's like, "Look, I don't want to put him in the position of having to potentially go against his own liege lord That's, yeah. by going after a, a Lannister man. So you know, we'll take it out of his hands so he doesn't have to be put in that position." He's, he's tricksy. He's tricksy. <laughs> For the first time ever. Tricksy habits is. Ned Eddard is tricksy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the first time ever. <laughs> and then that's where we leave off. With the Brotherhood Without Banners. Slowly in the making. Yeah. Okay, you'll have to tell me what is the Brotherhood Without Banners. They're the ones that remember. in the shows take Pot Pie and Aria and Gendry and hold on to them for a little while. Pot Pie. Like pot pie, not, not pot pie, <laughs> pot pie, pot pie. Close <laughs> enough. <laughs> it's only a letter off. It's the group that Barrett and Darian leads. Okay. The Brotherhood Without Banners. Okay. Yeah. And then in the books later on, um, Lady Stoneheart leads them. Do okay. they sell Gendry to the Red Witch Lady in the book too? Why don't you read the fucking story and find out? I'm working on it. There you go. You'll You're going out chapter you by chapter. There. You should go a little faster. I mean, but if I do, then it loses the thing. I, no. I started this. I started this. I have two bookmarks. One is podcast chapter. One is free reading. <laughs> but then I'm not reading it at the same, at the, breaking it down at the same speed as the That's chapters. why you go back and reread it. All right. Anyway, not necessary to discuss right now. Yeah. I don't know. More editing. More editing. More net editing. Net editing. <laughs> Nin editing. That's what. That's what. You guys keep that shit up. You'll be without one extra. Uh, <laughs> that's, what, that's what editing in the editor chapters is now called. Nin editing. I'm gonna have a brainy in about five minutes. <laughs> Only five minutes. <laughs> How have you not had one yet? On this I podcast? have no fucking clue. <laughs> All right. So, who has something that they would like to discuss? I know you do. Well, I have many a thing that I'd like to discuss. Who has something that they'd like to discuss? From- uh, preferably, preferably at the beginning of the chapter. The of the chapter. <laughs> I have the beginning of the chapter. Is that um, the first couple pages? It's the very first fucking chapter or paragraph thing okay. right here. I just want to say, all you people out there who just started reading Game of Thrones and all you want is for Ned to sit on the Iron Throne, you got it, guys. There he is on the Iron Throne. And that's all you're going to fucking day. get. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you're gonna fucking get. One yeah. whole day, Ned, gets Ned the iron sits throne. on the throne. <laughs> all those memes. I like this Ned guy. I hope he sits the iron throne. Yeah, he got there, you guys. He made it. He did make it. <laughs> so far. Yep. So, but that's about it. That was my first, that was my first, nope. I do want to know why Ned was, with all the colors that were in there, why the only color he saw was red. Is that just symbolic, or it was it just because he was dealing with... Maybe he's angry. Seeing red. <laughs> Seeing red is also a metaphor for pain. Well, he is in a lot of pain with his leg. Yeah, so between being angry about what happened with the Lannisters, the Lannisters' color being red, and him being in a shit ton of pain... Plus him realizing that, like, him and Robert and his daughters are, like, fucking surrounded by Lannisters. All he can see is red around him. That too. Too bad they're not red shirts. So, like, there's, there's quite a few... Reasons, reasons why he's seeing red. red. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I, I have a feeling that's what it's for. They do yeah. a lot of, they talk about the throne, like the actual chair. I like, yeah, I like how they a talk about how the throne. Yeah, they talk yeah. about it a lot this episode. Like, how it was made, the history behind it. Aegon, <laughs> the conqueror, is hellishly uncomfortable chair. <laughs> yeah. I like his reasoning, though. A king should never sit comfortably. And he yeah, should, good. absolutely. Yeah. Um, they have to be reminded of their duty, and then they, they shouldn't be comfortable high up and like that. And it's... It's literally sticking them in the back and on the hands. Like, you can't rest your hands comfortably, for fuck's sake. There's blades twisted, poking up mm-hmm. between each fucking finger. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you can still, and they're all still sharp. All right, so Ned is sitting this crazy, uncomfortable throw man of twisted swords melted together with dragon fire, which is fucking cool mm-hmm. as shit. Specifically like, by Balerion like the Dread. Actually, the Black they Dread. had a dragon sit there and blow on it. Mm-hmm. They had Balerion the Black Dread. It took 49 days to hammer it together. Yeah. That poor dragon. Didn't see a dime. I mean, 
Or uh, didn't see a single gold coin for his work. I'm sure they fed him lots. I would say they, they probably gave him a good couple of horses and some fed poor some oxes poor and yeah, some poor people here and there and yeah, maybe yeah. some babies. Yeah, as well fed. I'm Dragons sure. like babies, right? They like a, sheep. Atheist baby, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, how do you know? How do you, how do you know the baby's atheist? <laughs> no, because atheists eat babies, don't we? Oh, That's what yeah. I was told. The only yeah. babies I eat are baby chickens. I mean, I see chickens. you eat babies on a regular basis. I know you think I'm not looking, but I see it. Not the only babies I eat are baby chickens. Mm, you eat baby chickens. Good breakfast. I mean, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be so sad! <laughs> but yeah, so Ned's sitting in the throne mm-hmm. in Robert's place, which means he has to listen to the dirt people come in and tell them all about their problems. Yep. He because... doesn't hate the dirt people as much, though. Thank you. God. Yeah, he doesn't hate the dirt people like Catelyn does. Yeah, no. And Sansa in the next chapter. Yeah, it's like, yeah. She was snotty I'm not even looking bitch. forward to reading about that. I want to just people. laugh in Jane's face and tell her that she's a fucking moron because she's just a fucking lowly little blah, 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 blah. But she's your best friend, you dumb cunt. Okay, your never. only friend. The only person who actually likes you. I can't right now. We, no, <laughs> That's we like saying, I have a it. black friend. I'm not racist. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like you pointing at me, one of the whitest Puerto Ricans ever, and being like, I got a Puerto Rican friend, I'm not racist. <laughs> I've said it before. <laughs> but I'm not racist in the slightest. Ugh. I hate, right. I hate everybody equally. I think it's weird that Joffrey, <laughs> Sandor, or Joffrey and Sandor are both out on the hunt, too. Why? I don't know. I just don't. I feel like Joffrey's too much of a little bitch to go hunting. Yeah. He's not. He's probably going just to watch his dad die. Or he's going because his dad made him go because his dad wants to toughen him up and make a man out of him. That's fair. I didn't think of it that way. I thought he would want to get the fuck away from his weakling little asshole child. That he, well, he, ha- wings off he the has to do things with his bo- with his sons to make them more manly. All right. I mean, probably needs to you, can't common e- out hunting. you can't ignore yeah. your children. I should. I think <laughs> Common was old enough, is he? Is there an age for that? All right, yeah. so the dirt people are coming in. To tell Ned about their problems. Mm-hmm. About the brigands. And specifically, a bunch come in from the Riverlands. Yes, what towns exactly? They were... They were those all, places. like, tattered and bloody. With their Mother's faces thrown in fear. Wendish town. Even, even George's and... Like and... Car joke. I didn't hear the joke. I was reading. Saying a mummer's Ford, even George doesn't like Fords. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. Mummer's Ford, Wendish Town, and what was the other one? Shara. Shara. E R. Yeah, Shara. Shara. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going by the official Roy Patrice pronunciation in my audiobook version. Okay. Shara. I mean, I can go with that. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yep, we'll go with that. Sure, why not? All right. <laughs> So these people are all covered in dust and dirt and blo- dry blood well, yeah, and bandages. They're dirt yeah, they're dirt people. Bloody they dirt had people. to travel a while, well, you know. Just, I, I'm sure that they weren't the much much cleaner before that. So, Except for the one guy. The one guy is depicted as wearing, even though his pants have like patches on them and stuff, that it is his. It looks like his cleanest set of clothing that he's That's wearing. What I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, That's it's kind like, of my point. It's like this year is going through the horse lands in his best clothing, covered and covered yeah. in dirt, and he gets to yeah. the the holy city, and he's like disgusting. Yeah, he's a dirt people. Well, he's he's a little pro- if he had been a little nicer to his sister, you probably could have taken a bath. Yeah, it's probably true. Point made. Probably Just true. saying. So, you know, whatever. But anyway, so uh, they're having a slight problem in, <laughs> Just the, a little in the Riverlands. Oh, only a little problem. <laughs> uh, there seems to be some, some Lannister brigands yep. going around um, destroying towns mm-hmm. and killing everybody. Raping women but and killing there's, people. Yeah, but no one's wearing any type of emblemed armor. Nope. Or they're not they're carrying any banners. Vague, but yeah, no one's wearing colors. Because even Lannisters aren't that stupid, yeah. <laughs> says, says the one guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But they're steel-tipped tools. Mm-hmm. The horses are war horses. Yeah, that the stable And they're wearing are... chainmail. Yeah. And the one guy's as giant as a fucking giant. Yes. Yeah. He's the one guy's like, literally, there's, giant. Yeah, there's no one that's, like, you know, bigger than this guy. And then, of course, Pycelle's like, well, you know, he's not the only big guy in the world. And he's like, dude, fuck off. Right. Even his brother he's looks like, like a, a goddamn... Is, yeah. He looks like Tyrion Lannister next to this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, exactly. yeah, like, don't call me a fucking idiot, you jackass. Like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> like, maybe Hodor's got a shot. Maybe. 
May- I would love to see Hodor and Sandor next to each other and see how those two compare up to size. It's Hodor and Gregor. I know, but I want to say like Hodor, like how Hodor, Hodor and Sansor, San- Sandor measure up together. No, no, because Sandor is short compared to Gregor. I want to see Hodor stand next to Gregor. See who's taller. How can we have them all three next to each other without because, them trying to kill each other? Because then Sandor would look kind of out of place. Oh, poor Sandor. I want to pet his poor You guys are both staring face. at me. There is nothing I want to add to this conversation, so I'm just That's watching right, she, you. I think she does not want to talk about this chapter at all. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to talk about the I just don't want to talk about the freaking height of the... We know Hoarder is like seven feet tall, so I don't care also how tall. Also, he's tall. Oh, isn't he supposed to be dead, though? Well, he is dead. Oh, okay. As far as I know. So that's why Pycelle's like, well, there's other guys that have been that tall. And the guy's like, dude. They're like two. Dude. And, they're yeah. and Andre yeah. the Giant doesn't live in Westeros, so. <laughs> yeah. That's fair point. Fair point. <laughs> what was his character's also name? <laughs> what was his character's name in The the Princess Bride? Because that's, uh, that's what I like to refer to him as. Big dumb guy who talks. He's got a name. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, big dumb guy who talks. Shut up. I can't remember his name. Don't insult. I like the movie. We, we, we insult people all the time on the show. I, I, I like the movie. I'm just saying, the dumb guy who talks was his character. I mean, he, he that is generally what his character he carried portrayed. Things. He carried people. He picks some of he puts them down. Is exactly what he did. Yeah, climbing up a rope with just his arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> He's gaining on us. Yeah, but he doesn't have three people on him. <laughs> How amazing would have been if he was just like walking around carrying them, going Hodor. That'd be Hodor. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be perfect. <laughs> no. Hodor. By the way, what was up with Wesley's mustache in that fucking movie? I don't know. What the fuck was up His with that? His name was Fezzik. Okay. Oh, Fezzik was the little guy. Fezzik, Andre the Giant, right there. And then what was the little guy's name? <laughs> Not Fezzik. His name was Vizini. Oh, Vizini. Okay. I always thought that for... I don't... I just... I get that mixed up, apparently, because I always think that Fezzik's the little guy that goes, Inconceivable! Oh, Fezzik's the big guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then. My name is Inigo Montoya. No one ever forgets that name. Prepare to die. <sighs> Listen, <sighs> the so restaurant topic. theme of the Princess Bride, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to dine. And then every time they do something, as you wish. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... Nope. I want to do it. Yep. If you have a bad server, it should fall into quick quicksand. Yes, okay. and then and then the the meal sizes though the meal sizes are small, medium, and then of unusual size. <laughs> and do they make you almost mostly dead? Yes, and that that's one of the things is that one of the desserts is magic. Whatever his name is, is um the chocolate ball. Yeah, his his mir- miracle Mike's whatever, and it's a chocolate cake ball. Okay. Yeah. Poisoned wine is that on the menu? I feel like it should with, be. With Iocane powder? It should be. They okay. just put glitter in it. Yeah. Powder. <laughs> glittery powder. Open a Tide Pod. juice. It there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's got extra special flavor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, somebody calls out, well, obviously this giant person must be Gregor Clegane. Yes. Like, there's no other choice. Pycelle, who is forever blowing Tywin Lannister... Is yeah. like no, I mean, certainly an there's other knight. people, and Sir Gregor is a, a knight and anoints his sworn vows in front of the gods. Nobody would yeah. ever go- break the rules. Certainly, he would never do anything such as what you're saying. Yeah, the guy that bashed a baby's <laughs> face into a wall a bunch of times yeah. would definitely not kill some random villagers. Yeah, lots of them yeah. at all. Never. Uh, yeah, no, nope. They um. And all this is because Catelyn has seized Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, yeah, let's not forget that this whole fucking thing happens because Catelyn Tully is a dumb, evil fucking yeah. cunt. Both, yeah, River, right? both River Run and Casterly Rock have called their banners and armies are starting to gather. Yes. <laughs> They're uh, both below the sports. golden tooth. Yep. Oh, so, there's a, there's a war yeah. coming. I literally put in there, proof and, Catelyn started a war. Yeah. And I, pre- I love that pretty much Eddard's just... D- I love um, that in his mind he blames her. Like, he puts in there that, well, yeah, because that Catelyn had started this. Who else is he going to blame? But he, it's literally but her fault. He, yeah. But he... He keeps defending her. Honor. He yeah. Can't, he can't let her take the blame. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's taking the blame publicly. Honor. Yeah. We'll get back yeah. to that. But, um... But, basically, by the end of the chapter, he's like, you know what? This is a fucking war. Go kill the guy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. He's had enough but of that shit. But did we pass that already? Well, we, we, we're, I mean, we can go back to the color of Ned's outfit at any point. Okay. Well, we were, we're talking kind of, about we're talking, his honor. No, we're yeah, talking about, yeah. I mean, we did bring up Ned's honor. So, it's interesting what Ned's wearing. He's wearing black and white and gray. Yes. Which is called, at the time, All of the Shades of Truth. Mm-hmm. Yes, but is it normally truth black and white? No. No, well, here's the that's, thing, that's right? The but, 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 but everybody treats Ned, like, right, when you re- when people talk about the books, they always say Ned is too honorable for to do anything bad. Right? They have a very black and white reading of Ned's character. He's too honorable. That's all you ever hear. He has a bastard. Right, We're, but they still call him. Thank you for getting to part of my point, yes. Okay. So, like, everybody's always like, well, John's obviously not his because Ned's too honorable to have done anything dishonorable in his life. Right, so they have a very black and white reading of Ned. I wonder if this is a subtle hint that we need to take a look at the shades of gray that are the shades of truth in relation to Ned, Ned's actions, Ned's morality, Ned's honor. I was going to put out there, there was an episode quite some time ago where I called Ned a shady bastard. Well, yeah. And that he was not honorable and he was not trustworthy. Well, because every time we talk about Ned's honor, we put it in air quotes. Yeah, we do do, 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 do a lot of air quotes Ned's honor on this show. (laughs) Yeah. Let's not forget, in like like two Ned chapters, he's going to be writing out the king's last will and testament and changing the words. Yeah. Without the king knowing. Yeah. Yeah. We all like Ned, but we all question his... Honor. <laughs> so, because that's what I'm because everybody seems to have this very black and white view of Ned. Mm-hmm. Good and bad. Like Ned, yep. like, like Ned doesn't operate in shades of gray. So I find it interesting that. Like Stannis. That he's dre- Right, exactly. Like Stannis. Yeah. Stannis. Not Stannis. operating in shades of gray. Yeah, Stannis is like, nope, this is law, this is not law, yes. kind of thing. Exactly. Until especially later. especially and book Stannis. Gray. Yeah. In the show, Stannis is like actually like made like kind of evil and dumb. Yeah. Yeah. And book Stannis is very stern, but also very black and white. He's a law. paladin. And so I wonder if we need to, <laughs> because of. I wonder if this is subtle hints to. Take a look and start questioning Ned's honor and Ned's <laughs> actions. <laughs> that, that, right. that his life isn't just black and white, that well, there's, there's some gray there, tones there's in there. There's shades of gray in there. Yeah. And what's yeah. right and what's wrong and what's honorable I, and what's not. I'm going to say a Fifty Shades Gray joke. I will kill you. Well, you're the only person who's ever going to mention that because that's the worst <laughs> trash that's ever happened. So Thank I'm you. upset that you even mentioned <laughs> it. <laughs> New chapter name for the episode <laughs> Fifty Shades of Ned. Oh, Jesus no, Christ. Fifty no. Shades of Ned! Nope. I was trying to avoid that forever and ever. Trying to avoid that for the life of no, me. Fifty should, Shades of Ned Eddard. It should be a Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard. Nope. Fifty Shades of Honor. 50, we all hate Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty so. Shades of Honor. We all hate Fifty Shades of Grey. It's the most ridiculously it? horrible written piece of trash ever except for Twilight shit. Yeah. Eh, they're kind of neck and neck. That's what I said, besides the Twilight shit. Well, yeah. they are both from the same author. No, they're not. They're not. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking uh, of something else. I'm was, thinking of something yeah, else. Fifty Shades was started as, like, fan fiction from Twilight. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I was yeah. thinking the host that Garbage. was written by the same as but yeah, Twilight. I'm, I'm already throwing out there and voting for Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard. No. All right. No. <laughs> it's a democracy, bitch. <laughs> it's not a democracy. If it's not a democracy, then it's a maester rules democracy. So exactly. So That's either, why I say it's so not a democracy. So either, either way, way we're getting lose. fifty shades of better. No, <laughs> we'll have something better by the end of the chapter. No, because I had to, I had well, to settle for the bees are a lie. So you know what? You can settle for fifty shades. Wait, the what of is a lie? The bees are a lie. I had to settle for the beans are a lie. The so. beans are a lie. Oh, that's right. The beans so are a lie. You have to settle for fifty shades of net editor. Okay. Can we not do Nedetter? Right, no, it's got to be Nedetter. That, that's the compromise. That's the compromise. It's got to be Nedetter. Fifty Shades of Nedetter. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we just reached the end of our episode, let's go back to the middle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, like, I think that that's a, I think that that's, or at least it's something that I read into it that we need to question. No, it's, say, a very, it's very it's very possible because I actions in light of the fact that 
he doesn't operate just in shades of black and white. He operates in all the shades of gray in between. Well, he's a very read, shady person. That he, yeah, <laughs> I said, well, I heard he's not nearly as honorable yeah. as everybody he screams has, to high heaven. That he, he has is. way yeah. too many secrets. For God, some, he has so, so honorable. many secrets. I had a, I heard a quote once that even newspapers have shades of gray. Yeah, because newspapers must be the truth. Just get them wet. So <laughs> they'll all go gray. But yeah, well. Or just get them wet and smear all the ink all over your face, because I've done that before by or accident. just take silly putty and think the ink off the page. Whatever. I mean, whatever works. Exactly. Or wait for the funnies. <laughs> no, it works for everything. I know, but I'm saying, you only, you only waste silly putty the for the funnies. funnies. Oh, no. I like the articles. It's like, uh, it's like Playboy. I like the articles. It's the worst Playboy ever. No. No. Playboy has some of the best written <laughs> articles ever. Like, I know. Literally, he literally, 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 when people say that they read Playboy for the articles, they're not fucking kidding. I know. Like, I mean, the they, articles are... Yeah, they pay like $10,000 per article. Jesus. Yeah. Why? Because they get amazing writers to cover amazing topics or interview amazing people. And then they just put naked women around it. And they put naked women around it. It's yeah. fantastic. You that's, can be informed fair. and entertained all at the same time. All right. I'd rather not jack off with reading an article about science, though. That's <laughs> not my thing. <laughs> Well, maybe you have to read it in two sittings. Maybe I need a yeah. penis. Or one, or one <laughs> lang. That could be. You have to, to read it in one lang and one sitting. Whatever. <laughs> nope. Not my thing. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope. I just, nope. Okay. All right. So, we've discussed Leonard <laughs> and his shades of gray. Yep. We have a problem. Gregor Clegane is running amok in the Riverlands. <laughs> to <laughs> you started I was like shit I literally made a tweet about this like this past week yeah, I know and I totally ignored it because whatever exactly but it's true uh, alright so Gregor Clegane is running crazy in the Riverlands <laughs> yep and he's... both of them have so Edmer Tully mm-hmm. is is pretending to be the lord of River Run. For right now. For per right his now. father's orders. And he's called the Banners, and he's he's divided his forces among all of the towns which along is, the border with the Westerlands. Is, yeah. Which, I can understand why to him that's a good idea, but on a war strategy, that is a fucking horrible thing right. to do. Right, and then he thinks the same thin. thing. Yeah. yeah. Ned, yeah. He's yeah. like, this is probably thin. Tywin's plan. Yeah, yeah. because Tywin knows. young, inexperienced Edmure Tully, who is more gallant than wise... So you know if Ned is questioning your 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 intelligence, you're probably doing something wrong. Especially since Stark and Dumb I, are I, synonyms why, right. in like why the entire is realm. It, why is it if Ned's questioning the intelligence, then the other person's doing something? Because Ned's not that fucking smart. That's either. what I'm saying. That's what we just said. Yeah, that's Stark that's and Dumb I mean. are synonyms. So if if oh, Ned, who is dumb, point. is questioning your intelligence, you're probably really dumb. Well, it's Edmure Tully. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so, I didn't hear your part. I apologize. That's okay. <laughs> So Edmure's like Edmure wants to go to war. Edmure has told these these knights that have brought the dirt people here that they need to go and repay Gregor Clegane his blood coin. Yes. Yeah. And, and it's like, whoa. And Hosha Tully was like, slow down. Uh, you're probably right. Let's go talk to the king first. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're in the king's realm with now, the king's Ned peace. Now Ned finds it lucky that this happens to come in on the day when the king is not there. Mm-hmm. And Ned has the authority of the king. And that it was his father-in-law who sent these people to see Right. Him. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because Ned, in Ned's mind, he's actually relieving Robert of this, this of horrible thing. This. Yes. Yeah, of having to deal with this because it's his father-in-law's bannerman right. and, like, you know, yeah. his whole right. family's So it's a conflict of interest for Robert. Yeah. Meanwhile, Absolutely. also a conflict of interest for fucking Ned. Yes. Be that his wife may have just kidnapped <laughs> and him. That it was, and that it was no, his father-in-law who was attacked. Yeah. 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 So it's yeah. a conflict of interest either way, and right. there is the, no way of stopping this war from going because Catelyn no. was a fucking cunt. And yeah, Catelyn's an idiot. There's no stopping this. There's no, a, people are already dead. More mm-hmm. people are going to die, and there's no way to stop it. It's oh, just yeah. going to grow. It's spiraling at this point. out of control. And if she had just gone back to fucking Winterfell and minded her own goddamn business, none of this would be happening right yeah. now. Well, 
She had she had to. I, like, he's like, I mean, it's not part of it, but like, if none of this would be happening, right? He's just sitting there staring at us. She had to make a name. That's for not my business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She had to make a name for herself, though. But she didn't, though, because Ned's taking all of the blame for her. Uh, Ned really well, yeah, because he doesn't want his bus. wife to get in trouble. He needs to say, he needs to He's just, using his honor. He just needs to ship He's Catelyn using his off. honor to get honor. <laughs> he needs to. He just needs to ship Catelyn off to fucking Casterly Rock and let Tywin deal with her. Seriously. Be like, listen, I'm sorry that she did this. You can take her, do what you want. Like we just, we don't need a war. No one needs yeah. to die except her. That probably yeah. would have been a smart thing to do. Maybe she would like it with Gregor. Maybe she no, would. I don't think so. But I still, I still think you know, if Ned had said, you know what, I'm gonna let Tywin uh, take care of you and mm-hmm. just kick his wife out, and I think that would have stopped the war. It would have. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. but it would never happen because... No. Well, no, and I actually would have put Ned in a very bad position, right? Because he's the hand of the king. If he can't be seen to protect his own family... That's true. Yeah. what good is he? Even yeah. if his family was... Or control. Even if his family... Or control his own family. Yeah, or control his family. Yeah. Being that he's he was like, listen, I told her to go control, home and she didn't. Yeah, the control right. thing's a Which is why he then. tells mm-hmm. Cersei and Jamie, Catelyn has done nothing except what I told her yeah. to do. Yeah. Because like we're like we were talking about with Robert, where um, he couldn't he, like even if he knows that Joffrey and Tommen and Marcel aren't his, yeah. he can't be seen as being that weak and dumb that he could mm-hmm. that it would happen life. under his nose. Yeah, to let anybody know. The same thing with Ned, where he can't be seen to be that weak or dumb yeah. that his wife would just run amok, 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 yay, throughout the realm without his knowing. He did it, so I didn't have to. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Because next time she's going to fall out of her fucking chair because she bounces every time she fucking says it. I really do. That. <laughs> and it, was got, it got dangerous that fast. I was, I was doing it with my eyes closed. And then she's going to knock herself out with a boob and we're going to be in real trouble. I am because I'm not wearing a bra today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Let me say so Ned has to decide what to do about Gregor Clegane. Mm-hmm. And everybody on the council, except for Littlefinger, is very against doing anything to Gregor. Yeah, Littlefinger's yeah. the only one that's like, hey, yeah, you you do that, man. You do the thing. Like, what could stir the pot even more than it already well, is? Yeah. Well, maybe if Ned sent somebody to try to kill Gregor. Yeah. Maybe we should just pretend like it's not the worst idea I've ever heard, even right. though it fucking is the worst idea I've ever heard. It definitely is. <laughs> so little Going after the mad dog. Littlefinger's like, hmm, well, you know, not many people could bring the king's justice to Sir Gregor. You are in that 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 sweet position, which you might be able to do just right. that. Yeah, which is where Sir Loras steps up. My lord, George. I will bring the king's justice to Gregor Clegane. And he's like, what, yeah. 15, 16? He's like 16 years yeah. old. He's a, yeah. So he's a short, skinny, scrawny boy in pretty clothes. And yeah, and then like, he goes, he goes uh, I don't think Rob could really do this. So, look, like, uh, he we need, you, we need you to behead him, not blow him, so... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and he can do a standing, too. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> He didn't even have to get on his knees. <laughs> Although I have a feeling that if he was on his knees, he'd still be able to reach. Probably. If he's hung like a horse. So Ned's, yeah. like, so Ned's like, probably not the best idea that I send you. No yeah. offense. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure you do a wonderful job. I'm sure that Littlefinger's incorrect when he says that if we send you, Gregor will just send us your head with a plum stuffed in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, that he was trying to save the only heir to the high tower. High Garden. High Garden. High Garden. Yeah. yeah. Is that, I mean, and, he's I not mean, the only heir. In the TV show, he's the only heir. Oh, okay. In the book, he's not the only heir. Oh, he, he, has, like a, he has brothers. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he was uh, the only brother. I thought it was no, just him and there's a, uh, There is a brother in okay. the books. So, so, yeah, he's not the only heir. Yeah. The, no, the high, the the, high, the, uh, the people of High Garden, the Martells, they, or the Tyrells, they stand a better chance in the books than they do in the TV show. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I do yeah. like them. Yes. So, Ned's like, okay, so uh, instead of you, I'm going to send some knights who've actually been in battle. Probably a good and idea. And that yeah. aren't Lannister <laughs> loyalists. Well, the Tyrells aren't. 
Well, right, but he's a child, so he can't. Send, he wasn't going to send him anyways. Right. Yeah. So he's, he's like, he's like, so Beric and Darian. Awesome. Why do I recognize that last name? Was there someone named Don Darian that went with him to the tower? No, Ben Barrett and Darian is the guy who dies and comes back to life all the time. In the oh, show. okay, that's and right. Barrett and Darian, the Lightning Lord. Okay, I was recognizing a lot of these names, but I was having trouble placing where I've. And we, you know, and you know Barrett and Darian because he has a a very significant squire, a certain Ned Dane. Is he at court right now? Yeah. Oh, it's his squire. We've never we haven't met him yet in the books, but his squire is Ned Dane. Okay. The, the Dane, that's a, yeah, the that's Dane a, who's named after Ned. Yeah. We'll have that discussion later. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> why? Because okay. why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, he, so is his squire in court right now? Of course we're going to name him after Okay, Ned. see, I was <laughs> I was thinking that they were like on another... I was thinking that Ned Dane was on another continent. I didn't realize he was in court. Yeah, Ned Dane is Beric and Darian's squire. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Yep, And he's also the, the lord of... Uh, what is it? The, of uh, Skyfall. Or okay. Sky, whatever, whatever the fucking the Danes' castle is. Okay. He's the new lord there. But he's Baird and Darian Squire to get combat training and things okay. like that. Learn how to be a lord. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. Okay, so that name. Yep. Um, You're going to have to run me through all these names. I'm sorry. So that's Baird and Darian. Uh, the next one is Thoros of Mir. Okay. He's the guy with the fire sword. <laughs> okay. Who's the drunk who was the first one through the wall. Went okay. Joy's rebellion. Okay. Yep. That That's doesn't him. remember. Doesn't any remember any anything shit. he's ever done in any battle because he's yep. always drunk. Yeah. Yep. But yep. he survives, so that's all that right. matters. Yeah. Exactly. The one who the one who brings Barrett and Darian back to life. Okay. Multiple times. And then the other guy, I forget because he's not really that important. Okay, right. But there was uh, Sir Raymond Derry. Wasn't there a Derry at the wall at the Tower of Joy? No, I don't think no, so. No, Derry was the house that they went to when they had yeah, the, these the are, squabble uh, between the first squabble between Ned and. And Cersei, they were at the Derry's castle. That was not okay. Yeah, that's these where that are, yeah, came these from. Are, these are all southern lords that yeah. are down here. Okay, there's nobody from the north down here. Yeah, Lady okay. died on Derry's property. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm just tr- I'm trying to. They're from. They're all from the Riverlands because that's where the problem okay. is. Mm-hmm. What about so? Because they're Beric and Derry. He's from south. And Carl Vance is. Somebody we don't care about. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's unimportant. <laughs> he's a name. He probably okay. dies. He's, yeah. a, he's a random name that's probably, probably going to die before he okay. Probably mentioned. a red shirt. I'm going to have to study more so I can get all these names. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of names, but especially since the Brotherhood without Banners it does become an important right. thing. Should we like, make like a wall thing somewhere that's just like... The How many shirts? times have we talked about the whiteboard and the chalkboard and the yarn? I don't want the... people to come over to think I'm crazy. What if my girlfriend shows her? She's going to I'm nuts. Your girlfriend won't show up. If your up girlfriend the shows up, then I think that's, we're all nuts true. because you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has one. <laughs> uh, she won't come up, show up unless I'm here, though. Okay. <laughs> She's a friend of mine, and she loves hanging out with Matt. So every time I hang out with her, I say, "Hey, you want me to bring my, your girlfriend over?" There you go. <laughs> So Ned tells these these gentlemen to gather twenty of their own men each, mm-hmm. and that he's going to give them twenty of his personal guard. Yep. And that Lord Beric and Darien, because of his position, his rank, is going to have the command. Yeah. And they are to go to bring the king's justice to the false knight, mm-hmm. Gregor Clegane. All right. And then poor Loris is like. But wait, but so you didn't say anything me. about me. And my <laughs> ego's deflating. Yeah, my poor <laughs> ego hurts right now. And Ned's like, listen, like you're really cool and all. He goes, and uh, no doubts about your your valor. He goes, but we're here for justice. No. What you want is some vengeance. Look, and kid, that's I, not what we're dealing up today. Or, kid, I kind of like you. I'd like you to see 17. So. That too. <laughs> yeah, you're my son. just turned 15. And I want, you to turn, like, I want you to keep aging like my son. Yeah. Really <laughs> um, yeah. Now, I do have a question. While, while this is all going on, is mm-hmm. Ned still planning on sending his daughters back north? Or Well, we'll probably find out about that in the next Sansa chapter, I'd imagine. Okay. In fact, I know oh. we will because I listened to it earlier. Oh. And I know that we will discover that answer in that chapter. Okay. I don't want to. It's actually not a bad chapter. You know, chapter. you can miss the episode okay. and we'll just do it without you. Oh, I'll put a note in here. Gregor slaughters people. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. <laughs> Wow! Occasionally, like, I just like when I'm writing these things down, like I just Man. like put some obvious shit put in there. A lot of thought into that note. I was like, I put a lot of thought into that one. 
A lot of thought into that one. I think the most thought she put into it was how she was going to move her hand to make the letters. (laughs) No, not even. It's like all sloppy and gross. Although I did put next Ned Sass's Picel and it's perfect. Oh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of which, isn't that what happens next? That is, that we're is getting exactly there. what happens next. Yeah, because uh, he, he tells them the throne will see no more petitions today and sends everybody out. Yeah. Yep. Ned throws his dick around. He's like, yeah. ah, ugh, had enough of this shit for one day. Yeah. Get the fucking dirt <laughs> people out of here. <laughs> well, you know, he has to sound, like, rude about it because his leg hurts and he can't show pain. Speaking of mm-hmm. rude, the fuck is up with these rich fucks in this fucking castle? Oh, my God. Ned can sit. The people on the council can sit. Everybody else has to fucking stand or kneel on the fucking stone the entire fucking day. Yeah. At court. Yeah. That's just how it was, I think. Yeah, what's up with these rich fucks? It's supposed to be something... It's, rich it's, people it's, always want to be more comfortable than the dirty yeah, people. It's, it's a, it is. It's, it's a, it's a mean, way of showing I mean, them that they're in power. Rich people these days have fucking airplanes and we're stuck with 17-year-old cars that we can't afford to get them inspection done. <laughs> So, That'll happen. Speaking from personal experience, <laughs> my inspection's on time this time. Thank you. <laughs> and my car's only shut. somebody else's, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, wait, what does it do? <laughs> so it could be, it could be past you. It could be three months away from being you. Who knows? This is car roulette that I play on a regular basis. Schrodinger's inspection. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? You get away with it because you're a like This is true. <laughs> right, right about my thing is there's that PBA sticker that, has, that says, hey, she knows a cop. <laughs> she knows a guy. Yeah, she calls dad. him daddy. And not for dirty reasons. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. Fact. Although, That's I would, his girlfriend calls him, too. Uh, I would be surprised. She's kind of dirty. Yeah, there you go. Well, your dad's a dirtbag, so. <laughs> I can't disagree. <laughs> Does your mom still listen to the podcast? I never started. <laughs> she never started. She's always like, oh, I'm going to listen to it. And then, like, the next time I see her, she's like, I should start listening to that. And I'm like, don't bring it up anymore because I don't want her to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I don't bring it up. She'd probably agree with you. Her boyfriend brings it up. He's listened to a couple episodes. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's 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 months away from being able to hear anything about any of it. So I did yeah. notice the one thing they talked about mm-hmm. when he stood up his collar was clinking. Um so I don't think their collars are as tight as you think they were. Well his has got more because stuff on it though, so it might just his might just be loose because it's got so much. That's true, but I was saying because you were comparing them to slave collars that mm-hmm. are like tight yeah, like yeah. the chokers like the one you're wearing now. Yeah. So but probably a little tighter than that. But um, I wouldn't expect them to be tight enough to like. I would say to cut off. Probably no, just bigger. tight enough for you to remember that you know yeah. you're a slave and you really can't do much. You're a slave. I would, to I would say his is probably like a bigger one for show because he's the Grand Maester. Oh, oh yeah, that he works in the King, King, King's Grand Landing. Poobah. Yeah, as it were. How many are there? What's a Grand Poobah? Is there it's anything higher than a Grand now. Maester? No. I mean, there's the Archmaesters, like, okay, so it's like, I was like actually, the actually, well, the whole thing actually works very similar to, like, the Pope works, right? So you've okay. got, you've got the Pope, who's, mm-hmm. like, the big guy. Yeah. Like, the big front face, right? So that would be the Grand really? Maester. Yeah, literally, that'd be, like, the Grand Maester. Okay. He's, like, the front of the organization. But the real power behind it, and the person who, the people who select that person in the Catholic Church is the College of Cardinals. Yes. Those are the guys that wear red, right? They're the red yes. guys. You know, right. the only reason I knew that is watching the Three Musketeers. Well, there you Not go. Not the animated one, the one with... Uh, oh. See, I know it because of um, the, <laughs> I the say, tutors. I, no, wasn't... Um, what's his name? Tim Curry in that movie? Yes. That's where that's where I know him from. Okay, yeah. But, yeah, so the guys in red with the red beanies. Yeah. The mm-hmm. Cardinals, they're the ones who choose the Pope. Just like the Archmaesters are the ones who choose the Grand Maester. Okay. So. All right. So why did they pick such a shit person? Or was he not a shit person Probably when he got the job? Politics. I mean, remember, he only pretend, right? I mean, like, he, he plays up a character yeah. for different people, and he plays differently for everybody. Oh, he's yeah. very agile in bed, apparently, according to the TV show. Yeah, and, and then as soon as he, like, gets up and he, like, stretches, and he's like, yep. And I'm going to be all hunched over and broken. Yep. Well, he, Gotta go see the king. Yep, as soon as he puts oh, his oh, outfit oh, on, he yeah. stands upright, and then he goes... 
Yeah, and then hunches his back over and starts hobbling a little bit. Yep. Walks clean across the room, and then he's like, Ugh. all right, gotta hobble. Yeah, he's yep. got a role to play. He walks, yeah, because he's got. He walks to the door first, and yeah. that's what. Yeah, he's what got a, a he's got a role to play. What a douche! So. It's funny as fuck. Though. <laughs> I was laughing. So that for the poor girl who's song. like, "Hey, I want to get paid," and he's just sitting there. That Later. one time back when I was in 1956, and there was snow coming down in the mountains, <laughs> and she's just sitting there like. Uh, can I get paid, please? And he just keeps going on with the story. She yeah, he doesn't leaves. want to pay her. Yeah, she's fucking leaves. She wasn't going to deal with it. Yeah. Can we finish the chapter, please? No, but that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, we can finish, we finish the, chapter. the chapter now. I swear to God, I'm fucking sober. <laughs> we said to make more jokes about Mace or Pycelle. All right. So Ned basically verbally dick slaps Maester Pycelle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tells him shut the fuck up. You know what you're talking about. We're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I want to do. Uh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't wait for the king because you know what? The king left me here to speak for him. Yeah, yeah. And so you know what? I'm gonna fucking do it. Exactly. Because you know what? Robert wouldn't say this, but you know what? Since I'm Robert today, I will say it. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Uh, we're gonna set up the people, and we're gonna do this whole thing. I completely disown Gregor Clegane. He's no longer a knight. He's no longer a lord. He doesn't own any property. He has no incomes. He is dead to us. Yep. Or he, he went, will be once something went, one of you stabs his ass. He went mafia family on him. Yep. Yeah, he did. Yep. Completely turned him, greenlit him. I just am surprised that it wasn't on the day of his daughter's wedding. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> on this, the day of my daughter. Why is it, how many daughters do they have that every single movie is always on the day of their daughter's wedding? God, Italians have, they're have Italians. a lot of daughters. They have a lot of daughters. That's true. Because apparently Italians only have daughters. So I, don't know, I don't know how there's any guys and, and who have the grown families. No, they only have one son. They always have that one son, have one son. And then all the rest of them are daughters. How you dare you come to me because on the day they, of my daughter's wedding? Because if they ever have two sons, it ends up like Fredo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand the reference, but okay. It's a godfather thing. Okay. I never saw it. He's the one that gets, like, cheese, right? He's Fredo. What? I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm smart, I'm not dumb like people think. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> the line. Do you, know, do you say Fredo? Like Fredo. Alfredo? If, yeah. If, yeah. You can't, if, if you can't find the Don, you go see Fredo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my brain hurts now just thinking about that. Oh. Okay. All, All right. right. So Ned Green lights Ro- uh, Gregor. Clegane mm-hmm. sends out a party after him. What will become the Brotherhood Without Banners. Mm-hmm. And then dismisses everybody. Yeah. Because he's done with their shit for the yeah. day. He's, he's, like, he's tired. He's... He's hurting. His legs in pain. Mm-hmm. He still can't believe that these dirt people thought that he was the king because they started to call him a grace. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, oh, I'm saying, he's like, how do these people live like a day right mm-hmm. away from here and not know what the fuck Robert yeah, was like? Right, like as if Robert's face is on every other cover of Newsweek. Well, it's yeah. not like it's, so not, it's not like it all the face is on like the gold coin or whatever. Yeah, yeah. they're golden dragons. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. And when was the last time a dirt person had a gold dragon? Exactly. And maybe they got some coppers in well, a couple oh, of no, silvers. Maybe they got yeah. some. Maybe they got some paper <coughs> cash where you know his face is broken. I know I was being sarcastic. The only dirt much. people that have gold coin are some of the really good horse. Yeah. Or you know, ale house owners. That too. Because you know they have to go to the bank for that one. <laughs> that, that that one group of people who are like they, they have to go all the way to Bravos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 but like, well, because they've got well, that they one keep group it in a jar under under the uh, under the sink. No, they have, they, have, they have a slit in the bottom of their mattress, and it's just all up in there. Your mattress is kind of lumpy, and it clinks a lot. <laughs> yeah, I spent some time in jail. That's where I learned to keep money and things hidden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so Ned kicks everybody out. Mm-hmm. He has to be helped down the, the iron stairs away well, from the throne. Because his leg's in a cast. Yeah. He goes, I'd go kill myself, but... Oh, that's one thing he does say. He's like, the first men... Believe that he who passes a sentence swings the sword. Yeah, yes. I do not like sending another man to do my killing for me. However, it appears I cannot do yeah. this. Clearly, <laughs> I must because Jamie Lannister's a dick. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> well, because I the mean, Lannisters have stopped knows? me from fighting. Yes. Yep. So well, he also did just have his horse's leg cut off and fall on him or whatever. It's, no, it wasn't it was it was the Lannisters. It was still yeah. the Lannisters fall. That's what I say. Yeah, so, like he just had his men yeah. and his like his person attacked by the Lannisters, which yep. is why his leg is still broken. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There was something in here too that I was looking at, I'm trying to find it right now, where he he um he questions fate, Cersei's faithfulness already. 
where he, it was something about mentioning about um, how many rats want to nibble the queen's cheese. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it was just, I don't think that it was anything about her faithfulness. I think it was, who's going to take this information and that was just Cersei. said okay, and about the Lannisters her. being involved in this thing going on in the West, and who's going to go and give her this information oh, see, and I was, she can give them money. No, it was, I, was, I don't think it was anything to do sexually. Yeah. I was like, I it was, that, that was my first thought. Was, too, when okay. I, read it, I just said, was right. this sexual, or is someone going to go tell her secrets? Yeah, yeah because there's the war for I, Cersei's I, cunt or whatever. And, yeah. you know, what if the what if the cheese is her cunt? No. Nobody would want Cersei's cunt. Well, nobody would want a cunt if it's like related to cheese. This, I mean, and that's what I'm worried about. Because she's the queen, so... It, the queen gets a bath every fucking day if she wants yeah, it. Yeah, so that's fair. Cheese. Three or four times a day. She could, sit, so. she could sit in a bath all day if she really wanted to. That would make the cheese worse. <laughs> <laughs> Mozzarella. <laughs> oh. oh, it's greasy and gross, and I don't, I'm not happy now. And we're so close to the end. <laughs> and I'm like, you two, because this part won't be in the episode, I have to fucking relive it. <laughs> No. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> it's still worth it. <laughs> I know. Because it's going to be in the uncut episode. <laughs> I oh, know. Oh, good lord. Ben's going to have a fit. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Ben's going to throw up. He no, might. After he laughs. He might. laugh so hard, I'll make himself throw up. Is Podrick's last name Payne? Yes, Podrick Payne. Okay. Podrick, he Podrick is, Payne. He is, he is, Ellen Payne is his uncle, I believe. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Speaking of Ellen Payne, as Ned is leaving... He's very... He and Varys are the only ones left behind. And yes. Everyone Varys, left pretty quickly. Everybody ran the fuck, yeah, out, of the fuck out of there. Yeah, like, like, we don't want to be involved in this Lannister fucking Stark shit. Are you Bye-bye! Everybody, everybody, <laughs> every, quick, everybody run to a raven. We need to get yeah. this message out. Yeah. Lots of birds are going to go Oh, I got, the, I got uh, things to do. Bye-bye! Yeah, let yeah. me tell you what happened. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who, who uh, Littlefinger is going to go talk to. He was out, out of there pretty quick. I was going to say his tell. reflection... Hmm? Doran Martell. Really? Yep. Why? You have to watch the videos to find out. Okay. Okay. Yep. But, uh... I like that idea. Yeah, anyway. So, Varys is like, um... Was it really wise to not let Sir Loras do what he wants to do? Because, you know, a man who has the... The Lannisters for an enemy would do well to have the Tyrells as an ally. Which mm-hmm. is a good point. Which is a very good point. And then Deb Ned like, I need no friend. And Dick said Ned's like, <laughs> Ned's probably thinking, yeah, and you know what? Maybe we'll be friends because I didn't send their heir off to get killed. Yeah, because that's the thing too. And he said that he, <laughs> I dare say he will outgrow the disappointment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, right. Whereas he probably wouldn't had I sent him. Yes. <laughs> They, and I, I would agree. I think the Tyrells would be more pissed off that Ned would be like, yeah, sure, go ahead, go fight him against the mountain. Yeah. And then all the Tyrells would be like, dude, he's yeah. fucking 120 pounds soaking wet, and you sent him up against a 7 foot 8 dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, 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 Lady Owena is like, has no illusions that her grandson could defeat Gregor Clegane yeah. in combat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's really the one in charge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, her son Mace is kind of in charge, and he's much better character in the books than he is in the show. Oh, Again, good. They I made him so. a doting idiot in yeah. the fucking show, but he's not that bad in the Thank books. Thank God, because like, he was a dumbass like, in the Like, he show. doesn't need somebody to, like, like walk his horse for him while he's on it. Like he can actually ride his own horse. I think the actor <laughs> couldn't physically ride, though. I think that was that. that well, was I don't, why well, I think that. that they, well, I mean, they played up his character being an idiot in the they, show a they lot, did. which yeah. is not true in the books. So. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, he's not you know like the best. He's not like Randall Tarley, but he's you know not that bad. Okay, so, I can get behind that. Yeah, so I think Ned obviously saved his life by not mm-hmm. sending him because it would have been a shit show. Yeah. And also, fine, so Sir Loris is a knight, but he's probably never commanded 80 men in the field in battle. Yeah. Whereas Beric and Darien and Thoris of Mir and them have because they're actual, like, grown right. knights. Yeah, they're grown men who have seen a battle before. Yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. real grown men. Yeah, they're not, they're not the, the cocks strutting around yeah. with their feathers out. Yeah, Ned knows Thoros because they fought together multiple times in Robert's Rebellion, in Greyjoy's Rebellion, so... Even though Thoros doesn't necessarily remember. No, Thoros doesn't that. remember, but I'm sure Ned does. <laughs> Ned remembers. <laughs> Thoros doesn't so much, but that's whatever. Right. And then Varys is like, okay, fair, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but what about Sir Illin Payne, 
who you sent out somebody to bring the king's justice to Gregor, um, but you didn't send the king's justice. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, like, like literally, his name is the king's justice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very specifically ignored that guy. Yeah. But yeah, and then Ned's like, yeah, well, I didn't want to send a pain who is a bannerman of Tywin to go kill another one of Tywin's men. Yeah, Ned, okay. Ned in like a moment of actually understanding things is like, yeah. A, he, what he doesn't want to do is send Ellen Payne out there because Ellen Payne won't do the job because yeah. they're both t- Lannister bandmen. Yeah. What Ned is like to Varys, Ned actually playing the game for two seconds is like, I didn't want to put Sir Ellen in that position yes. where he might have to go against his liege lord to handle the king's justice. Yes. Right? Even though Ned is also his liege lord, but once removed, being the hand of the king. <laughs> right, what's but right? His liege lord, his second liege lord once removed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it's an Alabama relationship. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. He does that banjo territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and then Varys actually comments him, and Reverse Com- compliments. Compl- yeah, compliments him and says something other than a Stark being an idiot. Yeah, but is it really a compliment or is it a backhanded prud- compliment? Well, no, because he calls him very prudent. I is think prudent, it's kind of backhanded. Is prudent a compliment, though? I would think so. Prudent's not necessarily a bad word. No, but it's not necessarily a good one, either. Acting or showing care and thought for the future. Okay, so he's not as dumb as Catelyn, but... I mean, that's fair. Because she obviously has no prudence. Yeah, but we also didn't say he was smart. We just said that he was had a moment of clarity, maybe. <laughs> you have a moment of clarity. But you know, the sharp pain <laughs> will do that to you. Exactly! Yes, yeah. The adrenaline coursing through his body made him yeah. see clearly for a half second. <laughs> I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that song. Have you it's ever... a great song. Have you ever seen Toy Story? Mm-hmm. I haven't. The song's in Toy Story. I know. Oh, I haven't seen it. Doesn't mean I like it. You said you didn't know the song. <laughs> I said I don't like the song. Oh. All right. Well. Anyway. So. And that brings us to the end. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Unless you've got something else you want to talk about. We should go back to the beginning. We're going back to the beginning. Why? Just because I don't want it to end yet. <laughs> Because if we stop the next chapter, then we have to do Sansa new. Exactly. (laughs) But if we keep that going forever and ever, we never have to do Sansa. Ned dies. This is the episode that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some Uh, people started podcasting it, not knowing what it was. (laughs) (laughs) And they'll continue doing it forever, just because this is the chapter that never ends. Exactly. You're gonna do that as a cold open. <laughs> the lamb chop introduction. Absolutely. Yes. I love lamb chop. I fucking hate lamb chop. Oh, I was too oh. old for lamb chop, but my sister fucking watched lamb chop. Fucking. I did too. Now it gives, now it gives me too. nightmares. I did too. Oh, I watched so lamb chop. I can't even time. tell you. I got so upset the first time I found a lamb chop doll in a store one time, and I was ecstatic. I picked it up, fucking squeaked. It was a dog toy. I got so heartbroken <laughs> that they turned lamb chop, my childhood hero, into a dog toy. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I had to fucking sit there and listen to the song that never ends because it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't end. It now, doesn't end. <laughs> now it comes in a uh, squeaky toy named Mouthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mouthy. You sing me the song of your people every day, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Yes, He's very proud of the song of his people. Yes, he is. Yeah, the song of his people is always, I'm hungry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think that's the words of cats. <laughs> yeah. Don't trust them. He's been fucking fed already. Yeah, house Mouthy. <laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a great one. House mouthy, we're hungry. Yep, I love it. Are you hungry? <laughs> Don't ask him that question. <laughs> God, he eats why, as it is. Why you gotta torment him like that? It's not torment for him like because he'll get him. fed. It's true, but he might have to wait a little while. <laughs> it's like, just mean. Oh, I know. 
dogs. It's like when we ask the dogs, like when I look at, like I look at her sister, I'm, I look at your sister and I'm like, hey, are you hungry yet? And the dog's like, oh, what? Oh my god, you said the H word. What? Is it time for that now? And then I'm like, oh, I said the word. H U N G R Y. Exactly. Does your tummy make noises? Yeah. Do, do your tummy have the rum leaf or anything? <laughs> All right, so let's finish this shit up. Okay. I thought we finished the chapter like 20 minutes ago. Oh, we kind of did. We just have to get into our clothes, and we have to come up with a name. Oh, you had forgot to do your Thanksgiving in the beginning. Oh, we did forget to thank everybody. Yes, you did. Thank you, patrons. Thanks, patrons. We love you, patrons. We love you guys. Don't tell shout you out, nice Shout out to B Word, or Bird, as I like to say, <laughs> Bird, on Twitter for following us oh. and saying hi to us. Just saying. It's B word. It is B word, but I like word. Do you have cool ass waff riddles? Yes. Yes. Very cool. Yes, riddles. I like them. I love it. Yep. Uh, if you want to be cool like our patrons, you can head on over to patreon.com slash ironwood, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to the shows, the horrendous uncut versions of episodes like this one. I don't know why you guys you want to do that. Listen to this one. I don't know why you me. offer it, Mister. Because people seem to like it. People like that kind of shit for some reason. <laughs> yeah. They're crazy. Yep, people be crazy. Crazier and than you. For yeah. five dollars a month, you can be on the show with us and record an episode about mm-hmm. a chapter that you like. Yep. Indeed. Which is also pretty cool. So that's lots of fun uh, to do. If you're looking for us on the interwebs, uh, iceandfirepod.com. Yep. yep. Hashtag Ice and Fire Pod. They'll find you pretty much anywhere on any platform. On Twitter, I am at Maester Ironwood. I am at Lady underscore Wyvern. And I am at Widow Wolf Spain. You didn't go last that time. Yeah. No, I interjected <laughs> on purpose. Good. I watched you do it. I'm like, I'm going to let her do it. I'm going to let her. You're both staring at me. Yeah. So I was like, just let me interject. All right. So yeah. we need to verify the name for the chapter. We've already got a front runner. Widow Wolfsbane needs to apparently at least offer a different suggestion if she thinks she's going to beat it. I'm sorry, I haven't come up with a suggestion yet either, have I? No, you have not. I just wrote down... That's normally the hands, my job. I guess I, I usually, I wrote down The Hands Justice and The Hands Job Part 2. That was kind of just stealing mine. That's, that's those two. Those, yeah. Yeah, those are the two the that hands, you two put the up. The Hands Job. Yeah, she the wrote them job. down. She's not taking credit. Oh, I'm not taking credit. I'm saying gotcha. I wrote this down from, the, from when we started because we always say that we have titles... And then we forget them by the end of the episode. Oh my goodness. Alright, can we finish this up? You know what I'm voting for. Do you have a do you have another suggestion to offer? I'm thinking of a suggestion right now. Well, we don't have time for that, so do you have a suggestion? Somebody really wants to smoke. I guess so. Yes, I have. Um No, it's just that this is gonna be well over an hour and a half long. How long have we been recording for? We're at an hour and fifty minutes. Shit. Yeah. Why do people listen to the uncut versions of these? <laughs> Why do you keep making them longer? Do you have a suggestion? Listen, we wait for her all the time. Do you she's have a thing. suggestion? I do have a suggestion. Okay, what is it? I'm thinking it. I dropped my pen. He's a toy. He's like, what? Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna vote for. What was the one that you did? It has had the Ned Eddard in it. Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard? Yeah, we'll do Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard. Alright, we're gonna go with Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard. Alright, I can't come up with anything. Excellent. Alright, so this chapter will forever be known as Fifty Shades of Ned Eddard. Love it. Love it. You guys are so weird. Love it. We just I, like I, I feel like I say that every fucking episode. You really do. Almost, yeah, almost every episode. I think it's only made one, two that you haven't. Yeah. Were those the ones I wasn't here? Probably. It could be. <laughs> or the one that I wasn't here. Yeah. Yeah. I was here, but not here. Yeah. Sorry, but not sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Yep. Yeah. Hashtag here, not here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Our next chapter is... Sansa. Sansa, what, three, four, four. I'm looking... Is it four? Sure, Sansa four. Sansa three. Edward 11 and Sansa three. So Sansa three, followed immediately by another net editor chapter. Yep, net editor 12. Editor 12. So that'll be fun. We'll be recording Sansa 3 next. Followed Yay. by a Danny chapter. I'm okay yeah. with that. Uh, Me too. But that one should be where somebody gets a crown. Oh! <gasps> 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 <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, she might actually read ahead. She might actually probably not. She'll read, like, when she gets here. Well, yeah. I mean, after my, my night shift thing last night and sleeping all day today, I'm not going to have much else to do tonight. So I'll probably do that until I fall asleep. Yep. Oh, you have tonight off, too? I don't have a job yet. Well, I didn't know how long you were doing Oh, no, it was just a shadowing thing okay. for the one time. But yeah, so, but now my sleep schedule's all jacked. Tell me about it. All right. Yeah. So next time, join us for Sansa three. Yeah. I mean, if you don't, the we won't be chapter mad. Whining about I'll be why mad. Sororis, I like watching the numbers go up. <laughs> where she gets to, where she spends the entire chapter whining about why Sir Loras didn't get to go kill Gregor. Oh, she's a fucking. Is she whining too about that she wanted to blow him? It's literally the entire chapter is her complaining about Sir Loras not getting to go kill Gregor. Oh, and I, calling Jane Poole a dirt people. I will say that I love how well George does at making these different personalities pop. Like, I, he does a really good job. He's probably, he's he does, because he, ma- he makes teenage girls as annoying as I imagine they are. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah. He does a really good job. Yep. Agreed. All right. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. 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 I just have to say, I'm glad my mom did not read Game of Thrones because if she she cursed me with a child just like me, she didn't curse me with a child like Sansa. <laughs> <laughs>